animals like cow, cattle, kangaroo, and buffalo swallow their food without chewing. After feeding the seed and bring back the food into the mouth and chew leisurely. This process of leisurely chewing the food is called rumination and such animals are called ruminants. The processes of rumination ensure regrinding of food and mixing it with saliva. Besides this, there are other peculiarities in the digestion food in this animal. Stomach in ruminants is very large and has four chambers, except for camel that has three chambers. They are rumen, reticulum, omasum, and epimasum. This rumen is the largest chamber and it has large number of microorganisms which produce cellulose. When the food first enters into the rumen, digestion is initiated by the bacteria in ruminants. Cow measures is the undigested or partially digested food is taken back into the mouth. Once it's properly chewed and mixed with large amount of saliva, it is swallowed again. Hence, food once again enters into the rumen and the digestion continues the rumen for some more time. Microorganisms produce different enzymes along with cellulose which act and cellulose and other substances present in the food. After this, the digestion of food material is continuous by the bacterial enzyme when the food passes into the reticulum. This section of the stomach breaks down the cellulose further. From here, the fully digested food along with bacteria is sent into a mosum. The wall of a mosum is thrown into many folds that lack like large leaf-like structure which increases the surface areas for effective water and bicarbonate absorption. Food becomes small concentrated as a result and from here it is sent into a mosum which is the fourth chamber. This chamber is the actual stomach or true stomach of ruminant where gastric juice is secreted. This gastric juice contains hydrochloric acid which kills most of the bacteria and destroy the structure of protein and their contents are then absorbed to provide essential vitamins, minerals and amino acids. From here, food enters into the intestine where digestion is completed and the products are absorbed.